Okay guys, so we got these out of the boat. See video below for where we actually built these speaker plates and put them in the boat to cover up some gnarly holes. They are, they are gnarly. Yeah, they're, they're, they were unattractive, so. So we're filling up the quick car 6x9s in here and the metal frame was rusting on the boat. We cleaned most of that off. The screws right. were rusting because they were uh, not stainless steel. And the tweeter had actually rusted out of the speaker. So there were some good speakers at one time. They were like Kenwood four ways or something, but they're Kenwood gone away now. <laughs> See, been trash for like a year or so, yeah. Yeah, about a year. So y'all stay tuned and we'll get into making these pretty so we can stick them in the boat. Now they're going to still have, I guess, a kind of a wood texture to them, but they'll have a good bit of paint over the top of them, make them all pretty and stuff. Okay, so I have them all set out. These are the right side, because these are custom plates, so the screw holes are going to be different on each one. And this is the left side, right here. So hopefully I can remember that. If not, we'll figure out, because it won't go, go together right. But I'm going to use up the rest of these rattle cans, and then we have some more coming in, and we're going to be a lighter gray than what this is but the wood's going to absorb something so we want to make sure we cover that because Danielle has told me time and time again it takes a lot of paint and she's an expert painter not me I'm just an expert at sweating and getting hot and making more work than what's necessary So, didn't get this on camera, but we uh, painted this, then we didn't like the lines, and so I resined it. My resin didn't turn out. So, <laughs> we used the Kiwi Grip, didn't have a lot of Kiwi Grip, so it added some texture, and then we painted it again. You can see the video for the floor on what the Kiwi Grip looks like when you apply it. And also go back and check out the windows. And you can see what it looks like when we do the, this is Rust-Oleum paint with clear coat. I know a lot of people have said this stuff is uh, easy to scratch. No, we haven't been able to scratch it at all. No, it, and it, after you know a week, this stuff really gets hard. We also took these little uh, window supports and we painted these with uh, Rust-Oleum, same color as the window, and then a clear coat. Because they were just all scratched up black. So, and I did a tape job on the, the balls, and Danielle showed me how to do it. And it looks pretty good. So let's go get these in the boat. Okay guys, so we just finished installing the speaker plates after we uh, painted them. You can see a uh, past video where we made the speaker plates and the front bars to hold the window up. So for the speaker plates, we used this to uh, go around the speaker plate and it worked really good. If you see right here, you'll see that it gives a nice black line and uh, the texture looks really good. We actually reused uh, um, 
kiwi. Ki uh, kiwi paint, we had some left over, and then we used uh, uh, gray Rust-Oleum, and we put some clear coat over it from Corolla, and that worked really good. Now on the front bars, we went and uh, mounted them, and we just sprayed them with Rust-Oleum and the clear coat, and it really looks good. It matches the windows, and I think it's going to hold up under uh, uh, maybe uh, good conditions. Of course, later on we'll do other reviews to show you how it holds up. Yeah. Through so our adventures on the water. Through our adventures. <laughs> We are going to adventure. Right. But, uh, Finally. yeah, it's, it's been a long time coming, and I know uh, we've been working on this a year. We've only got three things left to do. So, the kind engine. Kind of bigger things, but. They are, well, we'll one work. is very small. We're going to put the bimini on. We have to redo all the, uh, the seat cushions in the boat. Oh yeah, but that's not going to be before we go on the water. We got to test it on the water, right. and we get, we got to get the engine running. So I just ordered a time and light because I didn't have one. Came up missing, and uh, like everything else, <laughs> we're going to uh, get get the end. Of course, we have to stab the distributor, so that's going to uh, you know show you how to put it on top dead center number one. So we can get the distributor in the right position, so we can start timing it, and then of course clearly mark our timing uh, tabs, so we can see where we want to set our timing on the boat. It's a priority. If you get too much timing, you'll burn holes in your piston. If you're too retarded, you'll you'll uh, you'll just run slow. <laughs> it, it, it won't perform as well. So there's a happy medium. And hopefully the carburetor is good and stuff, and it cranks right up. I hope so. And we're putting Please the circuit. Don't tell me there's something else. We're putting the circulation <laughs> pump on, so that's I'm going to show you how to put the circulation pump on, and also put the belt in, because uh, you actually have to take a piece of the motor mount out to put the circul the circulation belt on there. <laughs> so we had two. And when it came back from the mechanic, we had none. So it's uh, so we have to get that. The only thing you can do is laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. So hopefully you like this update video. You know, um, we are steadily working on this, and uh, we will get on the water and we'll uh, start exploring some of the things around here in Florida that you can sandbars. do on the water. Yeah, There's the sandbars. sandbars. Then we'll have to show you how to maintenance your engine when you stick it in salt water. Because salt water right. and engines don't go together. This is a raw water system, cooling system, so you'll have to, it has to be flushed after every use. Or it's salt water is bad. And if you're looking for great eats, good recipes, check out dinandwithdanielle.com. She has wonderful meals released every Wednesday. It's always a surprise. It is always a surprise. It's a wonderful surprise for me. <laughs> I love it. And you can also check out other videos we, we've done, We're not only with this boat, but we've done other DIYs and other, you know, home improvements and things like that. So you can look at that, get you some ideas, see, you know, how we did or how not to do it. We, you know, yard tools, whatever. We've, we've gone through them. Yes. Right. And uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there. Looks something like this. If you like this channel, feel free to subscribe. It's also down there. There's a little bell for that ad reminder, so you can hit that as well. And y'all please take care. Bye.